And turning to the teacher's books, they give the, the teacher enormous support on how to deal with um, uh, teaching um, communication in medicine, um, from notes, from additional tips, and also communicative exercises with the um, grammar backup tests at, at the end. And this is very important um, for the teacher in, in ESP generally, but in medicine in particular, because it is qu quite a daunting prospect for teachers to just walk in and, and teach medical communication. But once they've done a little bit uh, with these books, they'll find it's actually um, easier than they thought because they've got enormous backup um, of help from the, um, uh, from the teacher's book. And I would say that if they, they wanted to buy anything additional, that they buy the Oxford Handbook in Clinical Medicine, now, um, and it's eighth edition, it's um, you know, world authority in, in, in medicine. Um, it's very readable. It is very, very uh, easy for even a lay person to read through and get some information. And teachers themselves should not be afraid of asking um, students for help. There's n um, doctors and nurses, but doctors particularly, love um, giving examples to, t to teachers to clarify. And there's no f sh teacher should not be afraid of saying, I don't know the answer to this and get the students to um, give them the answer. Um, students then um, are reassured that the teacher is not trying to teach them something false. But it's a big, big thing in medicine of, n you know, don't try to pretend that you know something. Say you don't know it. The students will respect you for it. It's, 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 it's very, very important. So from the teacher's point of view, um, being secure teaching medicine, um, it's, it's sometimes it's something that comes towards the end, but for teachers using these two courses, it's um, important that they realize that they'll be given constant backup in the teacher's book. And if they're worried about something, they shouldn't be afraid of asking the students the students will have more knowledge than the teacher will have. And I've been teaching medical English since the mid-80s, but still I say to students, I don't know the answer. You tell me I am not a doctor, I'm only a teacher. And they then tell me, and then I bank that information. And, and um, teaching medical communication is about building up a general medical knowledge that you then use again and again. But at no time should the, um, the teacher of English for Special Purposes in medicine seek to impose any kind of medical information onto the, the doctors. They should always warn the um, doctors or the nurses or pharmacists or whatever that they need to check what they say because they may have read something which has been contradicted in a medical journal and even ask the, the, the students if they come across anything that is new, can they, can they tell the teacher? And that then is a way that the teacher can build up their medical knowledge without worrying about the fact that they have to spend hours upon hours um, you know, trying to prepare uh, material beforehand, because that is a big fear for teachers. This kind of takes away the fear of um, having to do all of that. Well, uh, some, a lot of teachers find it daunting, but I don't think they, they should find it um, daunting to, uh, teaching a medical English because they have um, a, a resource that is incredibly valuable, and that is the students. And s teachers should not be afraid of using the students themselves. In other general English courses, or if a, a teacher is teaching um, a specialist subject where the students have no knowledge whatsoever, of, of the subject, it's quite difficult because they're both ignorant. But in medical uh, uh, English, you're teaching students who are either being trained um, as, as, as medics or they are already trained and they are wanting to uh, hone their communication skills. They already have the knowledge, so you're not actually imparting knowledge. And this is part of um, Bloom's tax, uh, taxonomy. You're not this this is already here, so the teachers should mind that and should not be afraid of minding it because students love giving examples.